story time with Fergie and friends. It's Christmas time. Happy holidays. And uh, no, I'm not singing. I am reading Hello Mum's Dad's Ghost Boys, Aunt's Uncle's Granny, Grandpa. We're on the train. Yeah, look, look, watch, watch, watch. What do you do? Go, go, faster, 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 faster. Christmas Eve land crash landing. No, it's the Christmas Eve crash landing. Oh my goodness me. Reading goggles on. Yep. And I've got my very practical hat on. Put it up there. Thank you very much. And what have I got? Oh, no. Here we have a candy stripe for you. Candy cane. Yum, yum, yum. On the train. Off you go. Ha, 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 ha. It's a very fine train. The Christmas Eve crash landing. This book belongs to me, written by John O'Boyle and illustrated by Miketa Harrods. Get colouring. Well done, Miketa Harrods. That's fantastic. Here we go. And it was the night before Christmas and I was ready for bed. Really? No, no, steady on. I was really excited. Festive thoughts filled my head. I knew it was bedtime when my mum appeared. One more sleep, she said, smiling. Then Christmas is here. <gasps> I could see Dad outside as we walked through the hall. Dad's fixing the car, said Mum. It's not working at all. He could see a mechanic. It's what I'd recommend. But your dad says there's nothing a hammer can't mend. Hmm, quite right, Dad. Well done. A few hours later, I was sound asleep, snoring. I woke with a fright. Ah! I heard a man roaring. Brace for impact, he shouted. We're going down fast. I was sure I heard sleigh bells as something flew past. Ding dong. I jumped out of bed, all thoughts of sleep gone. Mum and Dad had to know that something was wrong. They were both in the kitchen. I burst in from the hall. And that's when I realised they weren't moving at all. Who wasn't moving at all? Oh, they were having a party. Hmm. Suddenly the back door was flung open wide. Then a big bearded jolly man swaggered inside. Santa, it's you, I cried, smiling with joy. In a deep voice, he said, in the flesh, my dear boy. My sleigh just lost power, I had to crash land. I really would love to lend me a hand. Hmm, I really would love you to lend me a hand. It's quite complex though, it's a tricky invention. If I can borrow a toolbox, I'll check over the engine. Well done. An engine, I asked, can't you, your reindeer all fly? He said, well, they're mostly for show. They look good in the sky. It's a very long night and they sometimes get lazy with no engine for backup. I, I'd breach off in safety. Hmm. We're very sensible. I, I know, I, I'm an elf, you see? And I know all about elf and safety. Always make sure sack is secure before takeoff. The sleigh must always fly with a working backup engine on Christmas Eve. Too many carrots can cause severe reindeer flatulence. Ooh! I said, I said. I went for the toolbox. Santa looked on approving. Santa, I said, my parents aren't moving. Oh yes, Santa smiled. Don't worry, they're fine, honestly. What you might not have known is that I can freeze time. Aha! It's a trick I use, said Santa, as I travel the world. It's how in one night I visit all the boys and the girls. I didn't freeze you because I needed a hand. They'll go back to normal once I'm gone. Understand? Mm. I put on my jacket and we both went outside. I stopped in my tracks and stood, eyes opened wide. Santa's sleigh was in my garden. It was red with gold trim and eight wonderful reindeer standing proudly for him. Yes, that's very good. Santa opened a panel on the back of the sled. <laughs> he looked over the engine and then shook his head. The compressor is fine and I've checked the cam sprocket. <laughs> and it looks like the filter is tight in the socket. Hmm. That could it, what could it be, Santa wondered, scratching his head. That's when I remember what Dad always said. Santa, I asked, tapping him on the back, have you tried just giving the engine a very good whack? What harm could, could it do, he replied with a grin. I pulled out the hammer and passed it to him. He lifted it up high over his head, just in case this goes wrong. Stand back, Santa said. <gasps> he brought down the hammer with an almighty <laughs> and even though I was... Whoopsie. And even though I was watching, he still made me jump. He whacked again and again, each time harder and louder. Then finally it started blowing with power. Oh, it worked, Santa cheered. The engine's alive. He held up his hand so that he could give me a high five. Woo! Ooh, hello. Get off. Now I really do need to be on my way. I hope you know you just saved Christmas Day. Yay! Yay! 
one more thing Santa added, putting his hand on my shoulder. I'm afraid you won't remember tonight when you're older. Part of my magic makes you forget that I've been, and tomorrow you'll think that it was all just a dream. He jumped into his sleigh and pulled on the reins. The reindeer got ready, blood pumped through their veins. Oh, Dasher, on, on Dasher, on Dancer. Oh, you know the rest, it's been a tough night. Just do your very best. The engine hummed nicely, they rose to the sky. Thanks for your help, Santa called as he waved me goodbye. They zoomed past the moon as fast as a rocket. Then I remembered the hammer, oh my goodness, was still in his pocket. The next thing I remember was waking in bed. It was a dream, I said sadly, shaking my head. Merry Christmas, cheered Mum, coming into my room. Get up, sleepy head. it's breakfast time soon. But then, oh, and then Dad walked in with a letter in his hand. I found this outside, he said, but I don't understand. I opened the letter and I had to read it twice. Hmm. It said, I brought back the hammer. Thanks again for your advice. S for Santa. Well done indeed. What a lovely, lovely story. That's fantastic. Well done indeed. Thank you, John O'Boyle. And what a and, uh, beautifully written story and fabulously illustrated. Really is. It's beautifully illustrated by Mikita Harris. Well done indeed. And thank you so much for a lovely story. And you've taken us into the Christmas spirit. My elf hat is standing on end. Yay! Story time with Fergie and friends. 